Right, yeah, everybody. Uh, something I'd like to share with you. Don't know if you've come across these before. These are the Polymath Products Premium Survival Kit. Uh, bit of a contents list there. Polymath Products made in the UK. Uh, I heard through the grapevine that uh, no other than John Lofty Wiseman has endorsed this. Is there? Uh, there's nothing to say in the packaging or whatever that it's endorsed by John Lofty Wiseman. But I spoke to um, a fella called Sam, or could be a girl, somebody called Sam, at Polymath Products. I sent them an email asking them, and they concurred. They said that yes, they'd been in discussion with John Lofty Wiseman about uh, coming away from the combat style survival kits. And what they've come up with is this. Which is um, Hello Fresh. Sorry. Which is um based around the uh Camper Stroke Hiker Walker in the UK. Right? So let's crack it open, let's have a look at it. Right, I'm always a big believer when you when I buy a kit to have a look at the kind of packaging that comes with it. So they do come in a little bubble wrap semi sleeve. The outer box. It's got the box inside with a reusable polythene bag, not Ziploc, just polythene bag. And then you get the kit proper, right? So you've got a uh, fair size box, roll up top clasps, and uh, they say this is good enough boil water and put it on a fire but I've noticed that those rollers there are plastic but the container must be good enough to do it so snap off the lid there's the lid itself we've got the rubber gasket around the inside there which is removable so the lid could be used we have a sheet of information and uh, this is based around that acronym STOP, which is Stop, Think, Observe and Plan. Right? So that's, that's what you're getting there. And this is what this kit's based around, is that acronym STOP, in case you get caught out. There's a kit list. I know the uh, focus isn't very good. <clears throat> but you get a pictorial kit list. Uh, like I say there, that's on this side here. That's the acronym STOP, telling you what it's all about. And then you get a good information sheet, stroke instruction leaflet on what the kit is. And all the, all the bits of kit are, item, uh, are mentioned. So it gives you some idea of how to use the kit inside it. Good bit of kit back in itself. Right. Uh, comes neatly packaged, like that. We'll get into it, will we? Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to move that one to one side because I've opened one. Uh, and I'll go through this contents. I'll keep that one original. Right, so we'll get the list. We've got a sleeping bag, emergency sleeping bag. Not a forest sheet, but a bag which can also be cut down and used as a shelter. So we'll get the bag. I'm fairly big believing the bags are better than the sheets. Emergency sleeping bag. It's uh, three meters of seven cord power cord, seven strand power cord. Let's get a nice bit of cordage. We get the Polymath products compass. And a little necklace. Quite a large candle, a tea light candle. Whistle with the feather seam rod down the side there. And you pull that clip off of the back. That gives you your striker. 
the sub for the seam rock striker. <coughs> Some chocolate covered Kendall mint cake. Some extra absorbent field dressing or pad rather. Priceless bits of kit these are. That's one of those little expanding towelettes. Very underrated bit of kit. These are good bits of kit those. It's all good kit mind you. Stock cube. I do believe that's a vegetable stock cube. Snap light or a chem light. This happens to be a cyc cyclum is it? The cyclums. Snap light. A little sewing kit. Housewife. Uh, not a lot in there. A needle. Maybe two needles, one safety pin, a couple of buttons, some thread, no, no threader. But a sewing kit. This here is waxed dupe twine from the Polymath products range. Uh, they're good. So you get some waxed dupe twine in there. A little push button torch. This here is Exo Gel. It's uh, Cooking for cooking and heating stuff up. Uh, it won't take a spark off the ferrocene rod, right? You've got to light it with a flame. So what you do is get one of those alight and use use that as a match. But you'd light that one of those. These do take a, a spark. Get one of those lit. And then you've got your gel there, your stove gel. I'm classing that as a wood spatula. Ten water purification tablets. Pencil, a hot chocolate mix, hot chocolate mix, some rehydration treatment. That's like your diarrhea light. You know what I mean? It's good for not just after diarrhea, but uh, if you uh, if you get a bit dehydrated. You know what I mean? So you get some rehydration powders. Couple of alcohol wipes, a little mirror, plexi mirror, signal, etc. There's a little uh, stove. You bend two flaps down, two flaps up, and you can make your stove on there, like a little hex stove. This here is a uh, a stand up bag, water bag, you put your water in there and it would stand up. Two sheets of uh, right in the wet paper, gridded. And your medi strip, which is like uh, surgical tape. Let's just check what they call that. Fabric surgical tape, so you could cut that up and use little, you know, those little stitches. So that's what you get in that tin. And uh, it is based round on the UK tracker type camper. Uh, there's no blades in it at all, so I'm, I'm assuming that's down to the purchaser to to get put a pocket knife in there, keep it legal. Um, it's uh, it's definitely not based around your um, Groton surviving the field combat. I've asked them that. They said no. It's orientated for the day walk uh, cook over the weekend. You know what I mean? Just something sort of like you can put into your bottom of your bag. You know that it's there. Uh, and you've got a few essential bits of kit to keep you going, which. I think you have in that little kit there. It's not too bad for a kit. Uh, price wise, it's 34 quid, 35 pound. Uh, so, you know, it's up to you what you buy with your money, but just thought I'd give you a heads up on that. I thought it's about, it's about time Polymath products did a proper sized tin. <clears throat> and uh, I think they've achieved that quite well. Between you and I. So everything does go back in there nicely. 
there's is there is room to spare you know what i mean you could rearrange that you could easily get easily get a pocket knife in there easily get a pocket knife in there so and some other bits you know like i saying all goes in comes out nicely I've done that. Yep. all goes back in nicely So that's your uh, that's your Polymath Products Premium Survival Kit. Uh, like I say, I've looked in the package and I can't see any mention of John Lofty Wiseman, but uh, Sam down there is Polymath Products. I did get on the on the email and I asked him in an email. Is it definitely? He said, "Yep, yeah, they were definitely in discussions with John Lofty Wiseman." Trying to step away from the military combat type survival tins, and they've come up, put this kit together, and I think it's not a little bad kit. You know, you'd uh, you'd probably sleep a bit better if you had if you'd sent one of your kids out knowing that was down tucked in the bottom of the bag, would you not? So you can maybe do a similar kit yourself for thirty five pound. It's up to you. Who pays your money? You do what you want with your money. But uh, I've been bleeding on for ages that this is, this is the size of a uh, survival tin you should be looking at. So I quite like that. I, got, I, I like Polymox products anyway, Polymox products. I think uh, it's some of the pocket money stuff, like the fire kits and that, you just can't beat. Uh, can't beat. So big fan of Polymox products. I think they've done a really good job on that little kit there. A really good job in that little kit and uh, I'm going to ask them again I'm going to send a bit of uh, feedback to them like uh, like I said I would do for them and I'm going to ask them again about the endorsement by John Lofty Wiseman but I've asked uh, other people have said yep yeah, it's definitely got an endorsement by John Lofty Wiseman or the guys at Polymath Products were in discussion about him, about creating this kit I think they've done a good job there. I think you've done a good job, guys. Uh, and especially if John Lofty Wiseman, and it is if at the minute, but if John Lofty Wiseman did give this the nod, it's just unbeatable then. I think they've done a, I've done a really good job on both counts there. Getting an endorsement by the uh, by a sheer gentleman and the God, you know. He, he wrote the Bible, the SES Survival Book. He, you know, he wrote the book, literally... Polymath products, you know, the I think they're known for coming out with decently priced, decent kit. You know what I mean? There you go. Thought that thought that was good. I do like that. I really do like that. And it's about time somebody else is getting around to the proper sized tin. That could go inside a uh, MS tin. I could sit inside one of your MS tins on a little. Uh, escape pouch or your little you know your, your escape ration pouch with a couple of other bits that stuck down the side the only thing that i can think of at the minute straight away first maybe criticism or critique is those plastic rollers on the side of this tin which would make it uh one shot use you know what i mean but that's what i think that one which is a quick tabletop. I've gone through the little kit, I thought they were good little kits.